Hi, this is Keith Bryant for Global SMT and Packaging. I'm here at day two of uh, Productronica Electronica India, and I'm here with uh, Vic from Supreme Components. And I'm going to start by asking you, Vic, uh, tell me a bit about the background and the history and really why you're at the show. Okay, I'm uh, 49 years in this industry. Keith, Indian born, Canadian citizen, Singapore PR, and uh, I brought two of the top four distributors from North America to Asia Pacific. And uh, now I'm running the Supreme Component International as the president and CEO. And uh, what has brought me here is to visit, of course, customers, suppliers, but most importantly to understand the semiconductor economy, semiconductor echo, which is emerging in India. Yeah, it's... Uh definitely emerging at a tremendously fast pace. And I guess you saw that from uh, listening to Mr. Modi yesterday and looking at the, the, the Semicon side of the exhibition, which was a, you know, a couple of years ago when they started really small and now it's growing and growing. So, so it has been, actually, I've been hearing last 30 years, 40 years, the fab is coming in India, fab is coming in India. And I was, I never believed it until I came here yesterday which I really saw that it's happening. It's really happening now in India. And I, I can see truly to really become the global power in the semiconductors, not of course in the immediate future, but I can see it in the next five to 10 years or so. And that, you know, I, I, I unfortunately didn't hear Mr. Modi, but I know he was talking about a 10 year plan, a 15 year plan. And it, for me, that's really refreshing to hear because a lot of governments look at the next two or three years. But, you know, India is really building a semiconductor foundation for the, yes. for the long term. It is, and uh, I see it is not only the domestic demand which is going to emerge and grow bigger, but of course the globally also they are looking at it. They are talking about $150 billion to about $500 billion by 2030, the local electronics industry. So I itself is in, Pulling the demand for the yeah, it's exactly right. I mean, the 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 distributors that I've worked with traditionally for the 21 years I've been here, were obviously um, started off as quite basic surface mount. Now they're doing advanced surface mount, and some of the distributors now are looking heavily into the semiconductor business. We have uh, companies that were traditionally CEMs in surface mount assembly. Uh, like Keynes, who are setting up OSATs and partnering with major global companies. And it's, it's really great for uh, not only the infrastructure, but it secures the future. Because the, the, the danger, and I've seen it in other countries, is when the global, the global guys will come in when they have available money. So they have tax breaks, they have uh, uh, funding from governments and this kind of thing. And when that dries up, they're gone. But if you're working with the, the, the local companies and the local companies are partnering, then these guys are going to stay because they're locked in. Yes. And that, for me, that's the, the big difference that I'm seeing with the, the semi-plan for yes. India. Very true. It's, it is really happening. In fact, there are five companies who have already been outlined who are going to invest or already investing into yeah. India in terms of semiconductor echo system. Yep, and they're talking also about a supply chain for semiconductor, and I guess that's something that uh, is going to drive everything as well. Because yeah, yeah. So now it's going to be from materials to build wafers right the way through to finished products for export. Huh? And where do you see yourself and Supreme fitting into this ecosystem? So we are a franchised electronic components and semiconductors distributor for last 23 years. And we are present in India for last 12 years. Recently, we incorporated a company in India in the, out of four locations. And we see that we want to take the, uh, um, take, take the step in terms of being nearing, very near to our emerging customers, to having the footprint in major locations within India itself, and help the customers to give them the online component supplies as well as the offline component supplies. 
Yeah, that sounds like a, a very good strategy, sir. Yeah. And you think, realistically, you're gonna you're gonna start now, and things will, you, your 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 business will grow as the ecosystem grows within India. Absolutely, yes. I see. I foresee it. In fact, as I said, I earlier I was thinking that in my lifetime I may not be able to see the semiconductor fab coming into India. But now, yesterday, I realized that how serious it is and the fabs are going to happen within my lifetime. And uh, we want to take the advantage of the growing emerging markets within India. A lot of uh, action is happening in terms of uh, 5G and uh, electric vehicles and emerging industries, AI and all that uh, within India. Yeah, it's uh, really great to hear your enthusiasm as well, sir. And I'm sure you're... Uh, very very close to everything that's happening and you're going to be very successful so thank you very much for coming in and sharing this with thank us so great to hear your insights that's keith bryant for global smt and packaging signing out